Hey everybody, I'm coming making this video message and I want to let you know, friends don't listen to or believe things that they hear about you when they really know you. The reason why I'm making this video message is because a lot of people, they still don't understand what a real and true friend is. A lot of people really feel like or they believe that a friend is just somebody you call, you talk to all the time, you text all the time and periodically you go out and you kick it with them or you go to lunch or you go to dinner with them and you have, you know, barbershop talk or you have girl talk with them. But I am here to let you all know that a friendship goes much deeper than those surface things that I just named. Friendships is also spiritual because spiritually speaking, if you have people that you claim are your friends and they are not aligned with where God is taking you, they are not attached to your destiny or they don't even really believe in God, you are going to have a hard time and some struggles with these types of people. And a lot of people, they get uncomfortable when you have this type of talk. And let me explain that. A lot of people now, whenever you put God's name in something they take issue with that they feel like okay you know what leave religion out of it leave God out of this topic and then I'll agree with you but I'm here to also let you all know that because God created us for a purpose meaning his purpose and his will you've got to care about who are uh who is in your life and who is in your circle and so that is why I'm always going to mention God um, when I bring up these types of topics because having certain people in your life is really not a joke. You allowing people to come around your children, you allowing people to come into your home, you uh, are going into the home of certain people, you're eating their food, you're telling them personal things about yourself, you are being transparent, you're being vulnerable, you are allowing them an inside look into your life even the embarrassing and humiliating things or when you fail at something in your life your friends are a part of that they feel your hurt they feel your pain they feel your shame they feel your embarrassment when you fall off or if you fall off or if you fail just like you probably take on those feelings as well well, if your friends fail or they fall or they make certain mistakes, maybe they got married. You had a friend that got married and then years later, they ended up getting a divorce and the divorce was ugly. That is embarrassing for some people. That's embarrassing for them. So as a friend, you take that on. You take on that embarrassment and that emotion with them because you may know that your friend tried their best to hold their union and their covenant together. But for whatever reason or various reasons, it fell apart. When you see your friend become successful, a real friend, you won't hate on them. You won't be jealous of them. You will be excited and happy because you will know, okay, you know what? My friend just got their master's degree. My friend just got their doctorate degree. My friend just bought a new house. My friend just bought a new car. My friend just got a contract to be on a show. My friend just got a contract to make money with a big corporation because they're selling a certain product. Okay, whatever it is, you know as the friend, hey, listen, I'm connected to this person. So when they win, I win. When I win, they win because they're connected to me. You as a friend, if you're a real friend, you know who your friend is. I don't understand this thing with a lot of people who are friends. I was actually talking to one of my good friends this past weekend about this. We were deep in conversation about the fact that there are friends who really still uh, deceive their friends. They are very deceptive when it comes to their friends. They have been friends with certain people for 10, 15, 20, 25 plus years, but there's still a lot about them that their friends don't know. They still lie to their friends about certain things. Now listen, I'm not here to judge any one of you if there is a certain area of your life that you don't 
tell your friends because i've told you all before you have to categorize certain friends now don't be silly don't be stupid you do need to categorize certain friends if you know that you have a big mouth friend you cannot tell them everything okay or if you know that you have a messy friend and you know they're the type of person they're not necessarily trying to hurt you but you just know if they know a certain portion of your life they're going to go and tell certain people and then it can get messy because you know that that particular friend they like drama they like sensationalism okay and all of you all you are not there yet where you see these qualities in your friends and you're ready to let them go because you say okay they have more good things about them than they do negative so i'm willing to gamble and keep them in my life that's why i always tell you all the friends topic is a very very large topic but i'm here to tell you all today your real friends they know who you are they may not know everything about you you may not have shown them every aspect of your life you may have a lot of things about yourself you know about your marriage uh about what goes on with you on a day-to-day -day basis you may keep some of that to yourself for different reasons. We don't have to get into all of that. But what I'm saying is that for the most part, your friends know who you are. They know who you are. They know if you're a liar. They know if you're sneaky. Your friends know if you're treacherous. They know if you are a backbiter. They know if you are a big gossip. They know if you're the type of friend um, or you are the type of friend you will sleep with somebody's husband or wife your friends know if you are a thief they know that okay if this particular friend comes in my house they're gonna steal something from me or if they go in somebody else's house and they purse is around or money is around or some type of jewelry is around I know my friend they're gonna take it so I'm just throwing different examples out there to let you all know what the bulk of this message is so here i am the bulk of this message that i want you all to understand is that there are going to be rumors that are spread about the people who you call a friend you are going to hear rumors spread about them you are going to hear slander going forward about your friends you are going to hear gossip about your friends and on certain occasions there are going to be people who are bold enough honey let me just tell you they have the audacity to come to you and start up a conversation about your friend telling you how they feel about him or her and so if you are a real friend you will take up for that friend and you will shut down the rumors that you hear about him or her or them because you know them you may not know every single thing about them but if you hear a certain rumor about your friend and it's a damaging rumor see the thing is this you can't chase down every rumor you cannot chase down every lie you cannot chase down every single person that is gossiping about a friend but there are just certain rumors that get out there are certain levels of gossip that get out there are certain very dangerous and damaging lies that are told on the people that we call friends and when these particular lies get out you've got to know when you should step in because when you hear petty lies and slander sometimes it's laughable I know I'm not the only one when you talk to a friend on the phone and if there was a certain woman that got out about you or certain things were spread, um, I know I'm not the only one that laughs at it. Some of the stuff, it just sounds so stupid, so childish. I mean, like really childish, like a seven and eight year old started it. And so you laugh at it. It's actually entertainment for you and your friends when you all get together. But I'm not referring to that. I'm talking about serious lies lies that can get somebody deleted lies that can get somebody locked up in jail lies that can cause somebody to get divorced or they break up with somebody that they are in a relationship with lies that can cause somebody to lose their home lose their job lose their car 
lies like that, when it becomes dangerous like that, as a friend, if you are a real friend, you know what you hear if it's a lie versus the truth. You know this. And when you hear these lies as a real friend, you step in and you should be courageous enough and bold enough to uh, defend your friend's honor. You don't just defend your friend when they are in front of your face. You got to step up as a man or you got to step up as a woman and say, I'm going to defend this person behind their back. And sometimes you will get the short end of the stick. I remember years ago, and this is why I posted about this in my community post today. A lot of you all, you've already probably seen the post or you commented on it. But uh, I talked about this and I pinned a comment about how years ago I had a couple of so-called friends and they were really quick to come and tell me what other people in church was telling them about me one friend came to me and she said she, they actually gave me names of people now that was one thing i can give these two old friends credit for they actually name dropped okay and so the first friend that came to me and they came to me at different points i can't tell you guys what the uh time what the time frame was of how they came to me i know one friend came to me at the time we were actively going to church every Sunday and the other friend when we both had left this ministry she had came and told me what this particular guy said to her concerning me but the bottom line was this with both of these old friends they were quick to come and tell me what this particular guy said about me okay and when one, one guy it was two different guys and it was a couple of women but two guys went to both of these friends at different points bringing up my name they did not ask them any questions i'm saying my friends they didn't ask these guys any questions about me it was not a purpose for these guys bringing my name up but they brought my name up and two of them told my two friends this is what they said they said watch her that's what they said they said watch her okay at first it was three friends it was one girl i didn't necessarily call her a friend but she was a close associate of mine she came and told me and then these other two friends that i used to hang with they came and told me that these two guys they would say watch her okay and so when they came to me the first question i asked was what are you supposed to be watching and they responded and said that's what we trying to understand we know you what what i said well the the two guys that came to you and told you to watch me did they tell you what you supposed to be watching they both said no the third girl who was a close associate she responded the same way i talked to all three of them at different points it wasn't like all of us was in one room and this conversation and topic came up at different points when they would come to me this is when i began to address it because it took uh two of them to come to me several times and i kept overlooking it but like that third or fourth time when they came to me i said okay see now i'm about to get involved i'm about to speak on it but they all said that the two guys that came and told them to watch me they never told them what they should be specifically watching so then i asked these friends well do you think you should watch me what do you think that you should watch concerning me they said uh i don't know nothing because i know you i know what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis i'm pretty much on the phone with you all the time i hang out with you all the time i know your behavior i know your character and I know that if you are doing something behind the scenes, more than likely you're going to come tell me. They knew this about me. And so then when they came at other points, bringing up other people's names in the church that was coming telling them certain things about me, I started to confront these so-called friends about it. I said, okay, so when they came to you and they casually and comfortably talked about me to you, what did you say? One friend said, well, I just was quiet. I didn't even say anything and it angered me i'm gonna tell you all in internally it angered me it pissed me off you know why that is when i started to look at her as a fake friend because this young lady pride she prided herself off of being a so-called real friend and so when this guy 
was comfortably coming to her telling her to watch me why would you be quiet why would you not boldly come to him and say why am i watching kiki what is it specifically that i need to watch concerning her because i know she's not a thief i know she's not walking around here lying on me i know she's never double crossed me what are you talking about she never did that she just remained silent then the other friend i confronted her later down the line i said well so and so why didn't you boldly ask him what are you watching what is it about me that you need to be keeping your eye on she said well i didn't want to be in the middle of it i said you didn't check him you didn't defend my honor and she said no she didn't want to be in the middle of it because she felt like it was messy so i started to look at both of these friends as being fake and phony friends because when men or different people in this church and even outside of church would come to me about them because it was a lot of men they had very strong opinions about them and we were three three women one was married and the other two of us were single but we were attractive women and te very intelligent women all three of us dressed really nice so i knew just that alone with our little group our little crew the three of us it was a lot of tongues wagging because with me and the other friend that was single, it was a lot of men, including married men, that wanted to sleep with me and her. They wanted to date us. They wanted to sleep with us. And when we would reject them, all of a sudden things were said. But see, when they tried to work on me and I rejected them and told them, yeah, like I don't play these type of games. I'm assuming this was the points where they went to my two friends and told them, watch her. Or they would make certain statements about me. But then when my two friends uh, or the one close acquaintance and the other friend, when they had whatever interactional experience with these guys, they got ticked off at them. And then they would make comments to me about these two friends. But I would correct them. I would tell them, no, you don't know her. That's not how she acts. No, you don't know who I'm around her every day some things i will confirm and say okay that's true but she already told you about that that's not a secret with her or i would say well no i'm not going to discuss that if you want to know that about her you have to ask her that's how i would address certain things but the point that i'm making to you all and the reason why i'm sharing this with you all is that if you're a real friend you're going to shut this stuff down because you know what began to happen and this is where i have to give them credit um as time went on years later when people in the church had came and tried to say things about me to a couple of them or when they would make statements according to what these old friends told me they then began to check them they then began to correct them and say listen that's my girl don't talk about kiki you know whatever you got to say to her say it to her or no that's not true about her who told you that and so sometimes as a friend you've got to be that friend you cannot be uncomfortable with conflict you cannot be uncomfortable to confront your friends i told you all before you don't be um afraid or uncomfortable to confront people who say that they love you if somebody opens up their mouth and say that they love you nothing absolutely nothing should be off limits to confront them about absolutely nothing should be off limits to talk about i don't understand a lot of you all I, I just don't understand the ways of the world or a lot of people in the world where people feel afraid to go to a friend about something i'm not that friend if you claim me as a friend i'm coming at you about whatever I'm not going to disrespect you. I'm not going to try to rattle your cage. I'm going to come to you respectfully and in love. And that at a certain moment, if you say, well, Kiki, I don't want to talk about that right now. Okay, that's fine. But if it's something that will affect our friendship, if it's something that's affecting me directly or indirectly, or it's something that's making me look bad, or I sit back and I see you're doing something, or something is going on, and it's making you look bad, I'm coming at your neck about it. Period. And I don't care how you feel about it. If you feel a way about that, then you need to just cut me off. You move on with your life and I'll move on with mine. I'm just that blunt and direct and I shoot straight from the hip when it comes with these to these things. Because you can't play around with this types of with this type of stuff. I'm sorry. So what I'm saying to you all is that bottom line, cut dry, straight to the point friends know who you are for real they know who you are now if you are a sneaky friend and you're doing things behind the scenes and you are living a double life 
that's another conversation. But if you know in all honesty that you are not living a double life and you know that you don't have anything extra going on and you know that you are not one way in front of your friends or your crew than you are when they're not around you. If you know that that's not who you are, then your friends should be taken up for you. You, if you know about your friends and you know that they're not living a double life and you know that they're not doing anything behind the scenes differently than what they do when they're in front of you or in your presence, then you should be defending their honor. You should be set, shutting down people who come to you and say certain things about those particular friends or that friend. Don't always be a coward. Don't always be comfortable allowing people to come down the pipeline and tell you about your friends. Don't allow people, I don't care if it's your parent. Parents have this bad where they will tell their children, they will talk about their children's friends like dogs. News flash: just because your mother or your father doesn't like a friend that doesn't give you justification to automatically no longer like that friend. As a parent, I get it. They want to protect us. They want the best for us. So if they get bad vibes off a friend or whatever, a parent that loves you, they're going to tell you that. But sometimes it's not even that a parent is getting bad vibes off a friend. It's just that that parent, they just are hung up. And anybody you bring around them, they have an opinion about. If you date a certain person, your parents, they going off about that. Some parents are very controlling. They want to control every aspect of your life. They want to control your friendships. They want to control your marriage. I got a video message coming out about that soon. They want to control where you work. They want to get in your financial business about what you're doing with your money. You all already know that. And I told you all of these issues and these topics, they will be addressed here, whether you like it or not. So anyway, guys, that's the video message. Be a real friend. You know your friends. Take up for them. Time out. Stop being a phony, fake friend. Don't be afraid to check people that come bad-mouthing your friends and talking about them and lying on them and gossiping about them. Okay? If you hear rumors, shut it down. Give your friend the opportunity because sometimes they can be embarrassed. Maybe they did start something in life and they have not yet had the courage to come tell you about it. Maybe they are committing a particular sin and they have not shared that with you yet because they're afraid you're going to judge them or cut them off. Give them the opportunity. Okay, verify. Get, get the rumor or the slander or the gossip confirmed first. But if it hasn't been confirmed and you just know what you know what you know, shut it down. Take up for them. And if you found out something later down the line, after the fact, you talk to your friend, you pray them through it. Tell them about the power of the Holy Ghost and how they can get deliverance from it and you move on. But that still does not give any outside person the right to dog your friend out and talk about them. That's the video message. Well, guys, it's time for me to go because I have some other things to do. The Lord willing, I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have taken offense to anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.